In this video, we're going to solve equations which have a variable on both sides. As we do this, often our answer will be a fraction answer. It's important to remember this one rule, that when solving an equation, we want the variable on one side. The reason for this is as we're solving for a variable, we move things away from the variable. If the variable is on both sides, we can't move away from it. So what we will do is we will move the small one by either adding or subtracting that term from both sides of the equation. Let's take a look at an example where we do just that. In this problem, we see the variable is on both sides of the equal sign. We need to have it on only one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the smaller one to the other side by either adding or subtracting. Because 5 is smaller than 9, we would say the 5x is the smaller one. It is right now a positive 5x, and we can move that whole term as a group with a negative 5x on both sides. Because on the left side, 5x minus 5x will leave us with 0, so we only have 7 equals. And on the right side, 9x's, and we take 5x's away, we're left with 4x's. And we still have the minus 2. Notice as I did this, I lined up the like terms. I lined up the x's so that they could be combined and leave that negative 2 alone. It's just going to come straight down. Now we can solve what's left, like any other two-step equation, by adding or subtracting first and multiplying or dividing second. We want to move away from x, so we move the two negative singles out of there by putting in two positive singles on both sides. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 7 plus 2 is 9, equals 4x. Finally, we can get the x alone by dividing both sides by 4 to undo the multiplication. As we show our work like this, notice the answer on the left side looks like 9 over 4, or the fraction 9 fourths, which is our final solution. The value for x that makes this equation true on both sides of the equation is 9 fourths. Let's try another example, which has the variable on both sides. Again, we'll have to start by getting the variable on one side. Here we have the negative 6x on the left and positive 2x on the right. The negative 6x is smaller. Negatives are always smaller than positives. So let's get rid of that negative 6x. Since it's negative, to get rid of it, we need 6 positive x's on both sides. And again, we'll line up our variables. 6x minus 6x is 0, and we're left with 1 equals 2 and 6x give us 8x minus 12. Now we have a simple two-step equation, which we can solve by adding 12 first to both sides. That will give us 13 equals 8x. And finally, dividing both sides by the 8, leaving the x alone equal to the fraction 13 eighths. Again, it's very important as we get started in solving these equations that if the variable shows up on both sides of the equation, before we add or subtract numbers, we need to move the variables to one side. My suggestion is to identify the smallest and move it with by either adding or subtracting to make it come out to 0 on the left or right, depending on the problem. Move the small one and then solve the remaining two-step equation.